Hi all, this is Sumit Kumar Dash from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. Today we will check more about how to create a streaming mass injection job in IICS. How to create a streaming mass injection job in IICS? Mass injection streaming is a separately licensed injection type of the mass injection service. Mass ingestion streaming can ingest data at scale from any streaming data sources such as logs, clickstream, social media and IoT sources. Use mass ingestion streaming to ingest high volume real-time data from streaming sources to on-premises and cloud storage. You can also track and monitor the progress of the ingestion. Secret access keys are, as the name implies, secrets like your own password. For your own security, AWS doesn't reveal your password to you if you forget, if you have to set a new password. Similarly, AWS does not allow retrieval of a secret access key after its initial creation. This applies to both root access keys and AWS identity and access management user secret access keys. Mass Ingestion Service has an easy-to-use interface that runs in an Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. Use the Mass Ingestion Streaming Service to define, deploy, undeploy, and monitor ingestion jobs. A job is an executable instance of an ingestion task. You can collect its streaming and an IoT data from different sources, apply simple transformation to the data, and then ingest the data to the different types of target. You can ingest data from sources such as Amazon Kinesis, Event Logs, Google PubSub, JMS, Kafka, MQTT, OPC UA, and REST V2. You can stream data to targets such as Amazon Kinesis, Amazon S3, Azure Event Hub, Databricks Delta, Google BigQuery version 2, Google Cloud Storage, Google PubSub, Kafka, and Microsoft. You must have to provide the AWS secret and access keys along with the service name created over AWS account. Please make sure to provide the listing directory privileges to the service name account. We have logged in as an administrator user over here in our ISS portal. And if you could see, we have already created a Kinesis stream named as Summit AWS Stream Kinesis, which has been typed as Amazon Kinesis and has been created by us with a specific runtime environment. Here we have to provide the service, which is we have selected the Kinesis stream. There is all another option for the Amazon AWS Firehouse option is also present. You must have to provide the AWS access key ID and AWS secret access key ID. By default, you can change the region if you want with the connection timeout and the other default settings. We have used, we have created a mass ingestion Kinesis stream by using the same connection. In the definition, we can have chosen the runtime environment. Let's go to the source over here. We choose the same connection which has been created in the administration screen and here we have provided the stream name which is another uh, mandatory field once done we can choose our target which is an s3 here with the correct option name and expression once it's done in the fourth step we will get a transformation step where you can choose your options for the incoming message format as a binary or a json you can also configure some settings inside the runtime uh, options, which as a uh, notifications, which is by default we have selected as a disabled. And these are the other some uh, default uh, options which is present. Now, let's see when we click on deploy over here. You could see like it's been successfully deployed. Uh, by mistake, I have double clicked, so it is giving me this error also. So once it's deployed, what we will observe here is it will check the messages coming inside the source and it will continuously moving it to the target. 
we would love to hear from you. You can drop us an email at supportvideos at informatica.com. Also, you can send any query at our Twitter account, InfoSupport. Thank you.